Okay, so this is what it looks like when you walk in my beauty room. So I'll kind of give you a quick little overview of what it looks like. But right when you walk in, I just have this little standing mirror and I got this from Target. It was like six or seven dollars and I think it's pretty cute. I mean, it's just a white full length mirror and it gives the room a little bit more space. So I like to put mirrors places. This is the bed. Um, sometimes I sleep here. I have another bedroom that I have. So I guess guests could be here or uh, whoever I guess wants to sleep here. But I have a throw that is from TJ Maxx and it's nice. It's like a nice kind of dusty pink color and it matches the pillow which I got that heart pillow from Target. And I like how there's just different textures on the bed. I think that's really nice for the eye and it makes it look, I don't know, I just like the look. So um, this, I don't know where this bed spread is from but it's got those like ruches or whatever they're called and I just have some white pillows and then kind of like a grayish colored, a different off colored gray pillow which I feel like ties in nicely with this picture. So I got this picture from my grandma. She, uh, let me zoom in on it a little bit because it's really pretty. It's just got a really beautiful frame to it and it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a 20s or 30s looking girl. So I think it's like such a beautiful focus of the room and I kind of try to tie in those colors in other places which you'll see but yeah I could just stare at that thing forever. You walk in and you're just like oh my god. So then moving over here I just have this really pretty window that looks out into my backyard and that's what you'll see if you see me filming videos those are like the, you'll see the trees kind of swaying in the background but I really like it. It kind of is calming. So so that curtain rod is from home goods it was really cheap but you guys can kind of see let me zoom in a little they have really cute uh like reflective glass pieces in there and it's yeah i like that a lot and then this little string is actually from ikea they were only like eight dollars so, so they're really pretty and they kind of have a pink glow to them which kind of ties in with the pink on the bed which i really like so yeah and then over here, which is probably the focus of the room, this is where I do my makeup. You see this in the background of a lot of my videos. So the vanity mirror is from Impressions Vanity. I will of course link that below. And everything that you see, like pretty big stuff, I'll be linking below just so you guys know. But yeah, I love this vanity. I got, I kind of splurged a little bit and went with the really nice one because you'll have it for ever. But I got the dimmable, it's like the 2.0 Glow XL Plus. <laughs> of course, I'll link it below because I'm not really sure the to like name of it. But some really cool features of the vanity is that there's some outlets on the side. So I always charge my phone or I plug my straightener in. And I love that about it. And then it's also dimmable, which I'll show you. So there's a button over here that you turn it off and on. And then you can also dim them like that. Yeah, oh my god. This is like one of the most gorgeous vanities I've ever seen and they have really good customer service because I accidentally broke two of the light bulbs and they sent them out the next day. So, very good. And then it's on a IKEA desk. So, these are two like mini Alex drawers and then it's just a tabletop and it wasn't too expensive. So, that's the good news. And then I just have this chair also that my grandma got me. I'm not really sure where it's from, but it is very like Parisian and it's very comfortable. So I sit on that and it's got like different uh, words written on it in French and all of that stuff. So yes, and then I also have this plant right here, which I love and it's just these white flowers and I think it looks really pretty. I like a lot of the greenery in here. You'll see that's like a reoccurring theme. I like it to be really calming. I think plants are really calming. So let's move over here really quick. So by the way, before I show you guys this, there is some stuff in here that's not cruelty free. Um, I am a little bit of a hoarder, so I just keep the stuff I've always had. But yeah, so if you see anything, just know it's not recent. I haven't bought anything that's cruelty. I haven't bought anything that's a cruelty brand, so just don't worry about that. But this I really wanna talk about. This is a really cheap, I got this on Amazon. 
It's a really, really cheap makeup organizer. I think it's beautiful. If you guys know anything about makeup organizers, if you bought any, you know that they're pretty expensive, but this one only costs like 30 bucks. So I am gonna link that. Very cheap, very good quality. It's just like any of the other ones and it really displays your makeup really well. So anyway, I'll kind of go through quickly. I put it in this home goods tray. Usually this is used for like perfumes or in your bathroom, but uh, I just thought it looks kind of good. And you'll see I have a lot of this stuff in other parts of my room, so you'll see that in a second. But let's just go through quickly what makeup I have in here. So I have some of my foundations that I use every day and my favorite foundations. I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury on display because that's like my favorite brand and I just think that her products are so beautiful. Like, come on, that is so pretty. So I have some of her stuff up here that I reach for every day. I have, the first store is all of her products that I have. So I have those on display also. Next drawer is Stila stuff. So these are all the Stila glitters that I own. And then I have the new Stila highlighter, which I like. This drawer is filled with some other stuff I use every day. So the Tarte Shape Take Concealer. This is like my favorite palette of all time, the Tarte Lid and Bloom. I've got some glitter eyeshadows and then I have a Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer. This drawer is all my nude. <laughs> nude lipsticks and then I think I have some more nude lipsticks over here yes I do and I just keep a Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel which is not cruelty free of course but I just think it looks fancy in here so I keep it in there and then I also have some like L'Oreal shadows in there so that is one in here I will link this below definitely recommend that to you guys and let's go through really quickly these drawers by the way I have this plant I don't know where I got this, my parents gave this to me, but I like how it kind of separates between this area and this area, and it's just another greenery. I really like it in the background of my videos. Before I show you the drawers, I wanna show you up here. So I have a little plants I got from Ikea. I put them on these white shelves, and I got those A to Z bookends at Target. And I just have some of my favorite books in there, and then I got this at home goods so i got that on the newlywed table it's just like a bunch of white roses with some jewels in the middle let me see if i can zoom you in a little bit so yeah that's what it looks like i have another one over here which i will show you guys in a little bit but let's go through the drawers really quick so i'm just going to quickly show you i'm not going to go through everything in here but my first drawer i have like my everyday stuff so I have just a bunch of foundations right here, two Milani sprays, a Real Technique sponge, some primers, some mascaras, all of that stuff. Um, I've got some lip products back here and some eyeliner, stuff like that, brow stuff. Next drawer, I have all of my skincare. So I have some wipes, I have this PMD Kiss Lip Pumper. I did this in a video if you wanna check it out. It's my favorite nude lipsticks video. If you wanna see how it works, I really like it. I still use it every day. Over here I have some Q-tips, I have a moisturizer, I have lash glue, stuff for lashes. Um, I have eye drops, a acne thing, and some lip glosses. I have some Glam Glow masks that they sent me. So, and some moisturizers, all that stuff. So this is the skincare drawer. Next drawer, this is like a mess. These drawers are not like totally finished, but I've got some hair extensions in here. I don't know, I don't really know how to store them. So I just kind of throw them in there and then I have my hair stuff in there. This drawer is also a mess. Um, I have some, <laughs> hello. I have some Oreos back here. Don't ask me why I have those. I have all the Kat Von D liquid lipstick shades. I've just got stuff that I just threw in here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing with that drawer. Finally, this drawer, miscellaneous stuff. There's a there's my camera bag. There's my camera charger. I have some makeup bags in here and that's about it so moving over to this side i have some other stuff that i use pretty frequently so i have some Visart palettes smashbox contour kit love that the sweet peach glow from too faced just some random 
stuff in here. I've got some highlighters. I've got blushes, setting powders, all of that jam. So that's what's in here. This drawer again, I have just like some palettes and other things. I don't really know where to put them yet. I haven't totally organized these drawers yet, but I will be doing a makeup collection pretty soon. Just kind of like an updated. I have the new Jaclyn Hill palette, which I love. I have the Carly Bible palette back there. Some of my favorite lashes are in here, and yeah. Um, I have a ton of NYX lip products in here that they sent me. Um, I just really like to look at them for now, and I'm going to figure out what to do <laughs> later. But yeah, I have just... I have a lot of stuff in there. This... This drawer right here is kind of a mess. I'm honestly I don't know what to do, but I got these little containers at Target in the dollar spot for only three dollars. So I put some stuff in there. I have a bunch of essence stuff in this one, so that's all essence products. And then I have some Catrice. I have my Brazilian Crush Spray and my Bum Bum Cream and some moisturizers and back there I have just like the mother load of sheet masks. I have so many sheet masks. It's like crazy. So I need to probably start using those. And last for the drawers I have, this is like a little bit of a different drawer, but I have like drawing stuff in here. I love to color. I have a coloring book back here somewhere. I have some books in here, my checks. I have some notebooks, a folder with some of my school stuff, and yeah. So moving on to my second desk, which is a little excessive probably, but I have my TV, which i it's just a little TV. It fits up there. I believe this is also from Ikea, but I can't be sure. So yeah. Um, I have my little laptop here. This is what I use to edit. I have a gold case. And I got this little lamp at Target. It was really cheap. And I got the lampshade at Target also. Um, and then I have, this is from Ikea from a while ago. Picture of me and my boyfriend on there. I love this frame. My boyfriend's mom got that for me. I believe that's from, I saw that at Walgreens actually. And I think it looks kind of zen, doesn't it? I feel like it kind of uh, brings in the zen vibe. So yeah, that is what this looks like. I have my TV receiver um, on the back over there, watching Food Network. Up here, let's just talk about the shelves really quick. So I have this London painting. It kind of reminds me of the Prada one, but it's a little bit of a knockoff. I got that at Home Goods, and it's really glittery and pretty. I have a little Bath & Body Works candle in there. Another ball that I got from Home Goods with the roses in it. That was on the Newlyweds table. <laughs> and up here, I have a little Anything Is Possible with a little lipstick and champagne. I also have a little glass, like, candle holder and that those flowers are from the Dollar Tree and then this is actually a Bath and Body Works like soap container but you can't really tell when the flowers are in there so up here I have just a really cute little girl she kind of reminds me of the girl that I have in the picture so she's like a 20s diva she's got the lipstick on and the angel wings she looks so cute up there and then that's also from Home Goods. It's just kind of like an orb or something. I'm not really sure what to call that. Maybe it's a candle holder. So overall, that is what my shelves look like. Shelf decorating is an art, people. It's very hard. So if you want some inspiration, you can definitely take uh, what I've done. I think that looks pretty even and balanced. So opening up my closet, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit of a mess but not that bad. So this is just kind of where I put my overflow. I make my boyfriend put his uh, <laughs> dirty clothes in there, which is currently full. I have a ton of makeup in here. I just have so much stuff. It's like overflow. Um, I Catrice sent me like their whole line. So I have a lot of Catrice stuff in here, some Capari stuff. I have a Nintendo 3DS games back here. So yeah, it's like totally. It's overflow, and you guys would be sad to know that I have an entire other one of these in my bedroom. So, <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Back here I have my ring light, which is really cheap. I use that when I film, and it's a really good one. I'll try to link that below, because it's good if you're on the up and up of YouTube, or you need a ring light, or whatever. It's pretty cheap, so I have, I'll show you guys the other side of the closet. As for the other side of the closet, down here I have another TV. Um, I like to play GameCube, so I play like Super Mario Sunshine on there. You guys, if you guys watch my vlogs, you'll know that I do that. So I put this on like a little shoe thing, and I have it, it looks really organized that way. So that's what I did. This is like a little shoe organizer. It's just got random stuff in there. Nothing too interesting that you guys would care about. I have all of these hangers. I need to find some clothes to put on them, but they're really cute. They're rose gold and they're that felt, so nothing ever falls off. I love those. So those are from TJ Maxx. This is a bag that I use sometimes when I go and do other people's makeup. I don't do it very often, but when I do, that's what I bring with me. And I got this one. I used to work at Sephora. I think it's so cute. It's from Benefit. It's just like a little makeup artist's bag. Uh, I never use it, but I love how it looks. So anyway, that is it for my room tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout. I will be doing a makeup collection when I finally get those drawers figured out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.